Hi, my name is Devin Olson. I'm a signature tire for Umpqua Feather Merchants. And today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about rigging for Euronymphing. So uh, here I have Umpqua's new uh, Euronymph leader. And it's a 20 foot leader, which is pretty typical for a Euronymph leader. And a lot of people are gonna think, oh, that's extremely long. How on earth are you gonna cast that? Well, what, uh, if you're not familiar with Euronymphing, let's talk a little bit about what are the components of a Euro leader system what you're connecting it to and, and how you're rigging. So first you're going to start with usually a, a, a Euronymph fly line. So there's dedicated Euronymph lines out there that are just level and they're very thin so they have low mass but they still give you something to hold and strip and, and uh, manage slack with. Then you're going to connect this leader to it. Now uh, Umqua's leader does come with a tippet or a, a perfection loop here but as they say you can cut that off and either directly clinch knot it to your line or uh, just do them, take them both off and do something like a super glue splice to it. And then the, the leader has a much thinner butt section than you'd normally see on a tapered leader that you might be throwing dry flies with. And that's so that as that gets out your rod tip, there's not as much mass and it doesn't sag as much and bring the flies back towards you, but it allows them to stay out in the river where you're trying to drift them and uh, accomplish a, a much better dead drift with lighter weight flies. So there is a tapered section here that's hand tied and then uh, that's three sections and it's uh, right around a little bit less than nine feet. Then there's 30 inches of cider material here. So Umqua has their own indicator uh, tippet that um, they have pink and then yellow here. And in the middle, you can see I have a blood knot here and there's tags that are left long on that to provide extra visibility. You can leave them there or you can cut them off as you like. Um, I tend to, if I'm going to fish tags, I'll, I'll normally just leave one because it tends to tangle a little bit less, but you've got the option of having both that way. And then at the end of that cider, you have a tippet ring and you're not going to be able to see that on camera here, but it's just a tiny little micro ring that allows you to connect the, your cider to much finer tippet. So the cider is probably going to end in about 3x diameter uh, from the look of things here, but I've got 6x tippet on this leader all the way down. There's no taper past that tippet ring. and that allows you to join those disparate diameters of material with having a better knot strength and it doesn't chew up into your cider every time you try and add more tippet. Then there's a pretty long tippet section here. It's about six and a half feet to the first fly and Umqua's tied it long that way so that you can use it for deep water if you need it, but that's longer than you might need it on a lot of small to medium sized rivers. Here on this river today that we're fishing behind me, the average depth in the deepest part of the run is maybe three feet. So I would probably cut a couple feet off of that and have uh, one and a half to two times the depth of the average water that I'm fishing to my point fly, which is the end. And we're gonna get that, uh, get there in a second. So straight tip it down to what you'll see on this leader is there's a dropper tag here. So instead of tying your, your uh, flies in by the bend of the hook or eye to eye using the tippet that way, there's a tag that you can put your top fly on here or your dropper fly and that allows that that fly to move around in the current uh, you get a better natural drift that way but it also allows you uh, to avoid foul hooking a lot more because the, the, the fish can get its mouth over the fly and you don't have tippet blocking the bend of the hook as the, the fish is trying to get its mouth on that nymph and then you've got about 24 inches of tippet here um, you could trim off a little bit of this. I normally like my flies hanging about 20 inches in between. So if the top fly is up here on the dropper, if you look at it vertically down, there'd be about 20 inches in between those two. So the point fly is on the end, dropper fly on the tag. Uh, and then having that space not only allows you to spread out your flies in the column a little bit in deeper water, but also you can make several fly changes without them getting too close again. And the dropper tag is about eight inches long for that exact reason as well. You can get several changes out of that before you need to re-rig. And that is the new Umqua Euro leader. Um, it's uh, simpler than having to tie your own. A lot of Euro nymphers out there for a lot of years have built all their own leaders, including myself. But if you're looking to have a ready out of the, the package made option to get you going and get you on the river Euro nymphing, this is a good one to try. And it uses the Phantom X, the new material, uh, the fluorocarbon that Umqua has just released for the tippet section. And that material has a multi-layered construction that makes it uh, have better knot strength, 
but also has good abrasion resistance and lower visibility than your typical nylon. So one thing you might notice when we talk about Euronymphing, a lot of Euronymphers are using really fine tippet. So here I have a couple of spools of Umqua's new Phantom X fluorocarbon, and you'll see that I have 6X and 7X. And personally, when I'm fishing, that's, those are two, the two diameters that I'm usually uh, using. And that sounds really light uh, for a lot of folks, but there's a couple reasons why. Number one, the finer the diameter of the material you have, the less drag it has as it sinks through the water. So what I'm normally trying to do, when you have a Euronymph rig, your flies are your weight. So you're not fishing split shot. I'm using only my flies to get down. And a lot of times I'm fishing a tailwater or someplace where I need small flies uh, for the fish to be willing to eat. And if I don't have those small flies, then they're not gonna eat, but I can't attach those to 5X or 4X or 3X and expect them to get down without adding a whole bunch of extra weight. And so by having the finer tippet, not only do you get better sink rate, but as it's drifting through the water, there's a lot less drag vertically from top to bottom by the change in currents that you'll see. Because normally your current at the top of the water is a lot faster than at the bottom. So if you have a thicker tippet, that uh, current at the top of the column is gonna accelerate your, your tippet faster than you want it to go. And so by using much finer tippet, uh, you get better sink rate, better drifts, and more takes as a result. And the, uh, the benefit, or uh, the, the caveat to that, or the reason why we can get away with using a much finer tippet, is we're typically uh, fishing short distance. So we don't have a whole bunch of line in the water that might go get wrapped around something when we hook a fish, but we also have long light rods that have a lot of shock absorption built into them. So a 10 foot three weight or a 10 and a half foot three weight, something like that, maybe even two weights. I have a 10 foot two weight with me today. And those sound like lightweight rods, but they still have a lot of backbone in the lower end of the rod to help turn fish, but they have enough cushion in that tip that you can fish that 6X or 7X tippet and uh, avoid breaking off fish and just have more success. So I hope you'll go out there and uh, especially with the strength that you can get out of such a fine diameter of tippet these days, that 6X is a uh, four pound test, which is pretty darn strong. You know, it wasn't that long ago that 5X was four pound test. So with uh, the new Phantom X, you can get out there and use six or seven X tippet and not, uh, you know, be able to land some pretty large fish euro niffing, but not really have to worry about it breaking off.